Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roma in Football Manager 2019. I'm Aether and today it's Champions League day. And last episode I showed you that we were going to be playing uh, Valencia. But I kept one small secret for you guys. Something I didn't want to spoil yet. But now the time has arrived and nothing else. You haven't missed anything. This takes place ASAP after the Juve game. And the thing I didn't spoil about Valencia is a certain player they have in their squad. Um, there was a player in Man United that Man United decided to list for loan during the January window. And he went to Valencia. And that, my friends, are Mr. Edin Dzeko. So Dzeko has arrived. We will be playing against our former star, our former goal-scoring machine. And he is still a brilliant at 34, at 34 years old. So this is a big moment. And as backup for Dzeko, they actually have uh, Patrick Cotrone from AC Milan on loan. And you know uh, that he has scored against us before in this series when he, he was playing for uh, Milan. So that was a little a small thing I didn't want to spoil. Uh, but other than that, we're going to get to the game quickly. Because just uh, as uh, the last time we were playing, uh, oh my god, we see Dzeko on top. Makes me nervous already. I can feel like a bad thing's going to happen to us. Uh, but just as... Um, as uh, we did uh, during uh, the last um, Champions League uh, game, we are going to to watch both games in this episode. And uh, at least if nothing crazy happens in the first one. I mean, if we win with five goals against none or the other way around, there's not going to be any reason to see the, the second leg. But that's probably not going to happen. So we are preparing for two games in one episode. That's a kickoff. And Dzeko, of course, is the man who starts things off. And Valencia, they have that home advantage. So this should be the tougher of the two games. Um, if we can get a good result from... Oh, look at that. An early injury. For Valencia, I guess that's good news for us in some way. Also, we are definitely quite ahead in the fitness game. They have Jekko's already down to 78%. My gosh, 77. What's happening? It's just going straight down. Uh, not much going on, though, with highlights. We created a more shot. Here's Collar with a free kick. Here is, well, at least we got the first highlight. At least we are starting creating things. Hopefully we can see some more soon. I mean, we are dominating pretty big here. Yeah, look at the statistics. But of course, if I say things like that, they're going to get a highlight and they're going to score. But here's Collar with a free kick for Pereira. Kluivert, Kluivert loses the ball and Sosta wins it back. Pereira for... Oh, it's actually hit the post. It was so slow. I thought like, oh, what's is this going? It's not going to happen anything. And then it slowly bend and it hit the post. So, yeah, we are starting pretty good here. But uh, they haven't scored. And Jack go down to 66%. What's going on there? My God, that's actually the first. That was a really, really quick first half. Felt like it just took like a minute with, the, with the, only these two highlights happening. But right now, this is a good result for us. And looking at things, we are dominating stuff. Uh, right now, I mean, now we shouldn't get cocky. We shouldn't do things bad. And I mean, look at these ratings. 6.3, 6.6, 6.6, 6.7. We're definitely not pleased. Not at all. And I'm actually going to go to the tactics screen in here. And try to bring Ensoci a little bit higher up into the pitch. And see what uh, what effect that has to, to things. But yeah, right now. This, uh, this definitely allows us to dream. Because uh, we know the second leg is at home. And we can hopefully do even better there. So we just can get a good result from this this uh, away game because there's stuff. Oh, that was a really ugly challenge. It's a straight up red card. It's a straight up red card for the Valencia player. But I, I definitely get it. I, I wouldn't complain if that was one of my players. Not oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Chick with his twelfth goal of the season. I actually started doubting Chick a little bit. I, I like him, but I, I told you. In the previous episode, quite some time ago, that he has like basically all the stats is, is the right one, except one, and that's his goal scoring ability. That should be at least like four or five steps higher for him to be a really good striker. Uh, and that made me doubt him a little bit. But he's still young, he's still promising, but he is injury prone. And I checked out his injury history, like just during these two seasons or we haven't even finished the uh, second season it's been injured like five or six times nothing too serious i believe the longest one was like five weeks but still that injury proneness combined with uh his pretty low goal scoring ability 
makes me kind of uncertain what um, what to make from it. Kind of uncertain. But right now, this is a brilliant result. This sets us up for a great possibility in uh, in the second leg at home. I mean, even this away goal could be worth its, uh, its weight in gold, even if... Uh, we don't manage to to win but hopefully we can create some more here is actually chicken of course when i talk about him when i'm doubting when, when, I, when i tell you about my doubts when i tell you that i'm not sure about him for the future that's his way to telling come on Aita, you're completely wrong i'm your lad i'm the man of the hour i'm the man that carries the champions league dream on my back so yeah, beautiful. This is actually a really good result. Not not good enough for us to be completely safe, but definitely sets us up in a in a really really good uh, way for the future, where we should have a pretty decent chance or uh, glory in uh, in the second leg. This is a fantastic result, and I mean last season Valencia ended in second place. In, uh, in the Spanish league. And this season, as you know, they're currently in third place. So this is uh, one of the better teams in the world right now. If you, Oop, that was a rough challenge, but uh, hmm. Where's this, uh, where's this one heading? Escobar, come on lads. Oh my God. <laughs> we actually hit the post. We actually hit the post. That, that one made me miss having my quick uh, defender on the pitch. We need to get another quick defender during the summer window. I feel like that because the oh, other lads are so slow, and that's actually a nice breakthrough from uh, from Colorado. But uh, we should be getting uh, the full time whistler at any second. But yeah, uh, I mean, we are beating one of the stronger teams in the world. It's third place in Spain, as I said, second place last season. They're definitely a top team. This is a fantastic result, really good one. And I'm going to tell them that that was a very good win. But we have another game to play today. We can't take this for granted. We can't start slacking because then, of course, the game will punish us. So let's move straight ahead to, to the second leg. And I was going to jump straight to the second leg, but um, this caught my eye. And I want to talk about finances. Look at how much money you is losing. And uh, I went on uh, and looked at uh, salaries. And they are basically spending more than twice the amount on wages than I do. But I'm not quite sure how they are counting this one uh, because uh, we are not making that big of a loss. So if you look at the finances here for this season, we are almost in uh, in uh, in profit numbers. But uh, I'm not sure because it says when you have uh, the mouse over uh, 24 mil, uh, as you can see here. But it, it doesn't match this number either because here is 29. It says 2.6. If you have mouse over, it says it's uh, uh, no, 24 for tax purposes. And you have this number. I'm not sure which is uh, is, is correct, actually. But uh, we're not going to end this season in, in the reds because we're going to have price money from the league. We're going to have price money or money from Champions League and so on. So uh, we will definitely say, uh, make a profit. But... You were with these finances. I mean, how long can they keep this one up? I checked, like, you know, you can see how, how rich clubs are. And for us, it says we are rich, uh, the finances. For you, it says the finances are okay. So they are definitely struggling financially. Uh, and other than that, I played um, one game between this one. And boy, this was a frustrating one. Pescara, 19th place in the league. A team we really need to be beating. And we only managed to get a draw. And guess who scored against us? Uh, you might remember from uh, from last season that uh, when we had a lot of injuries, uh, we brought up a young, like, like 17 year old, 16 year old from, from a youth uh, team, uh, and he scored in his debut. And for this season, because he's clearly not uh, Serie A level yet, so uh, uh, we loaned him out. And, uh, and uh, basically, uh, He's the one that scored against us. The kid that made his sensational debut for us scored in his first game, and now he scored against us. Uh, the only good news, I guess, is that yeah, not this run, but run before, um, Inter actually only managed to get a draw in one game. So oh, look at this. Here's 
Oh my god, Garrison Breakthrough is a beautiful pass to him. Uh, but yeah, um, Inter only managed to get a draw in that game, so we actually still have four points saved to margin up to them. But boy, that was a bad result. Not managed to beat the 19th place team in the league, getting conceded by one of your own players and having one injured. Uh, it's not too bad when in your um, Florence is going to be out for, I think it was two weeks, but still frustrating. But yeah, let's focus here on the second leg. We have set us up in the best positive p possibility. Ah, now I can't speak, but the best possible um, situation. We're two goals up from the away game. That brings us into more or less a sensational chance here. But I mean, you know, if you are have a great chance, the place may thinks, uh, think uh, things are already done, start slacking, and if that happens, it could go down the drain quickly, but here is Santon, he loses, yes, this was what I was talking about, this could be a counter-attack, this could be a counter-attack, De Rossi wins it back, the captain for Kluivert, Kluivert into the box, maybe, ish, yeah, beautiful challenge, he find Gerson, and, oh, that was so close, if he score a goal, it's basically game, set, match, but, uh, I mean, I'm not taking anything for granted here, as the rain pours down, Tonelato with the ball, uh, he was, I believe, suspended for, for the first leg. Uh, even though I didn't show it in, in any episode, I usually do some scouting, at least for important um, games like uh, Champions League quarter final. So uh, I was checking out their team a lot. Uh, here is Chloe. This highlight has been going on for a long time when Chloe breaks through all by himself. And, well, he tried, I guess. I can't believe he only played for like 10 minutes. I feel like uh, he's been playing for much longer. But those highlights have been going on for a long time. But... Of course, as I say that, we're not getting any highlights more, but look at the statistics here. We are completely dominating things, basically destroying them in the statistics field. But And here is Pereira with a corner, and here is uh, De Rossi just outside the post. So we keep on creating chances, but we are definitely struggling with finding that. We need a goal, because if they score one goal, they, they will get to feel like this is possible, we can do it. Then there will be a huge morale boost. But if we can just score one goal, it will more or less be a game set match for them. But well, we're going to tell them this first half. I mean, look at this rating. It's a joke. It definitely should have been able, after creating so many chances, to, to actually close the game. But it didn't happen. Let's bring our captain a little bit higher up into the pitch here. That's a ball winning midfield there. Focusing on support. 45 minutes from uh, continuing on the Champions League journey. Because you know it, last season we didn't didn't even manage to go for the group stage. Now we're here fighting in the quarterfinal, and uh, we're definitely in a situation where we can't start dreaming for even more. I mean, every second the clock ticks here is to our advantage. Every second we just um, waiting. Well, look at it, seventeen chances. That's still not a goal. Nineteen. My gosh, guys, how hard could it be? Do I need to sub myself onto the pitch? Do I? Look, kind of looks like it. Oh my god, so many uh, bad ratings here. I think we're gonna do it like that. Who else is playing like, I mean, there's so many players like play, playing like garbage, but uh, I think we should go actually like this also. Bring Munir up uh, on top as a striker. Hopefully we can improve a bit. Let's see, we we'll say something different here. I demand more. I'm not pleased with this one. And here is Pereira with another corner for Jesus. Here's Gerson, and that's it. That should be the winner. Gerson with his fifth goal of the season. And now it's going to take a small miracle for Valencia to turn things around. This was exactly what we needed, exactly what we wanted. We should have been able to do it earlier. But finally, we are one up in this game. And yeah, this is definitely going to... Oh, of course, I say that they get the highlight ASAP. This could be... Oh my god, focus guys, focus, focus, focus. Olsen picks that one easy. Now, what's going to happen here? No mistakes, Olsen. Roll it out, beautiful, fast here, no mistake. Oh my god, it doesn't, don't start passing there. It's not good for my nerves. Please, Rossi for Gerson. Gerson with a beautiful pass from Munir. But he's kind of out of angle, and he loses it, and it's going to... Bounce back, beautiful day by Fasio for De Rossi, Gerson, Pereira, Jesus, Jesus, uh, or Moreno, Moreno into the box, and uh, look at this, my god, what a game, Gerson is having his second goal, perfect. And now, of course, we are ready to celebrate, 
Uh, but I have a feeling that I might have done a mistake that I have done in the past. So first, let's look at the replay. Beautiful. We can skip it now. Let's go to the tactics screen. Have I? Oh my god, I managed to... Uh, why did that happen? Who did I change them around with? Um, yeah. That was a mistake. We managed to... When we were changing things around, for some reason we managed to put Jesus up on top. That was definitely not how I wanted to do it. A little bit embarrassing, but at the same time, I've done it so many times right now. So you guys should be used to with me messing up players' positions. And I mean, we are winning, so uh, who can complain? Maybe that was the secret weapon, the f f secret recipe for our success. Me completely confusing the opponents because they had no idea that we were going to play Jesus in that position. And I mean, he, he got an assist. And can we do something else before uh, the full-time whistle? Um, Garrison actually, so we'll go for the hat trick. Probably want to try to find somebody. And something on his Pereira, Pereira with an optimistic shot, but it's just over. But yeah, now we're just waiting for the ref to blow the whistle. This has been a fantastic, beautiful day. I'm very pleased. 24 shots, we should have maybe been able to score another one, but still can't complain. We managed to go through, we managed to win the quarterfinal. And um, I actually want to take a look at, how, oh my god, look at this, Liverpool completely destroyed Juve, six goals against one, my gosh, let's take a look, can, can we see all the groups, uh, not the groups, but the court final, so uh, yeah, Liverpool knocked out Juve, we knocked out Valencia, and then it's all up to Atlético Madrid versus Man United and Man City versus PSG, one of these five teams are the one we will get in um, in the next round. And uh, yeah, we have some sensational stuff coming up here. We uh, have the last few games in the Champions League and we have a title to fight for. So we have a Champions League semi-final. Can you imagine that? Last season we didn't even manage to go through the group straights. Now we are living the Champions League semi-final dream. And it, oh my God, it's going to be so difficult because in between these two games, we are playing Napoli away and Napoli is currently in fourth position. I mean, if they win, they could be in third position. So, yeah, we are not uh, making it easy for ourselves, uh, do we? But this has been a long episode. I think it's time to end it now. As always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. And I'll see you in the next one.